Welcome back to the Black Star video. Thank you for tuning in. Today we're going to talk about market cap, circulating supply, price action, current price, possibility of price. Let's get it. So yeah, so we're going to talk about price, how it all works, circling supply, all this stuff that everybody keeps saying, and how does it all come together to get you to understand what the price is and give you these grand ideas of how you're going to get rich real quick. Uh, is it possible? Yes, it is. But if you understand what's going on and you can formulate what price realistically, realistically can be, then it's better off for you. And I'm going to show you about that and talk about that. Let's talk about it. Let's get it. So right now, if we look at the whole market of every coin that's out there, we have about a $940 billion market cap. That means every coin that's available, there's $940 billion worth of value that it's out there in this ecosystem. And looking at the top 10 coins, right? Bitcoin holding the majority at $376 billion, right? One third, a little bit over one third of the total market cap belongs to the granddaddy of them all, Bitcoin. Ethereum comes in into a sharp second at $162 billion. And we're going to trick all the way down to Cardano, which is ranked number eight, holding a market cap of $14.6 billion. So Cardano's got a ways to go, at least a 10x to catch up to 11x to catch up to Ethereum. So around September, when smart contracts were released on Cardano, we had a huge price influx that coin market cap is saying 298 296 the price actually hit especially on Binance and Coinbase hit around $3 $3.10 that was the top price and it was although the, the DEX was released and smart contracts were alive Prudus was here hooray Cardano made some more contracts and it's not a ghost chain anymore but the ecosystem wasn't prepared for the transaction volume that it hit it right that it just got flooded and although the chain didn't fail at any point it did slow down to almost a halt because of the intense volume that it received. It just wasn't ready. So the price sharply decreased. Uh, I was K, I was G. Charles made numerous videos on how they were going to try and adjust it and pipelining and everything else, but it wasn't fast enough. Knowing I was G, we have to get the ecosystem prepared right, and they're going to test and retest and retest and retest. And as a result, bear market came into full swing current price of Cardano is around 42 cents. But if we look at the one day, it looks like Cardano is on an uptrend and that may be good. We don't know what's going on right now. Remember that we're in a bear market and anything can happen. We're not sure what's going on with the bears, the bulls. But as we get closer to 2024, things should definitely change. But on what's called the macro environment and economics, it looks like a recession is imminent. Well, once we hit a recession, that means the markets will start going back up. Once it's labeled recession, means that it's already over. It's at its end. However, let's get back into what we were talking about. and going to go straight into something else instead of doing what I was planning on and give you a better idea. But before we do that, let's talk about market cap. So market cap equals current price times circulating supply, right? And this is circulating supply. The amount of coins that are circulating in the market and are in the public hands and are in public hands. That means that even though coin market cap is saying a total supply is a little bit higher, that means that there is a small majority that's in the difference that is locked away, either in a custodial locked account and there's an entity that's holding it. So they removed it from circulating supply. Remember, that doesn't mean was staked, right? Because in Cardano, nothing staked is actually locked. You can always move your coins around. That means that this certain amount of coins, roughly 700 million coins are locked away in a wallet somewhere and it's not in public hands. It could also be in IOG's hands. It could be in Emergo's hands. It could be in several different hands. We don't know. So price action is depicted by circulating supply and market cap, right? And price, sorry, circulating supply and price. So current price right now is 42 cents, 42.6 cents. So I made this whiteboard with a project price action. That's what I'm calling it. And in it, I have three different coins, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Cardano. So I've given just a blanket price right now. So I made this whiteboard called Projects Price Action. And in it, I have Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Cardano, right? So if the total market value or market cap right now in crypto 
is $940 billion. And Bitcoin holds the majority of it. Its little brother is going to hold the next stage. Right? So we're going to determine that real quick on this. So that way we can figure it out and then go from there. And then we're going to do Cardano. And then we're going to get a soon price action of possibly what we want Cardano to be. Then realistically where it may be at the next bull run. And let's get it. So right now, Bitcoin is at $19,600, Ethereum is at $1,325, and Cardano is at $0.42, cents, almost $0.43. Cents. We're going to keep it at $0.42 cents just to play fair. So at the time making this video, the circulating supply of Bitcoin is $19.17 million. Ethereum is $122.641 million, and Cardano is $34.253 billion coin. And the market caps, again, are going to be rough estimates, not going to be actual, just so that way we get that out there. So if anybody watching this video is like, oh, your numbers aren't right, it's, it's a rough estimate. It's not going to be 100% accurate. We're going to go close to not exactly accurate. So again, the time I'm making this video, Bitcoin's at $375.11 billion. Ethereum's at $162.09 billion. And Cardano's at $14.650 billion billion dollars right now so just giving you an idea i mean cardano is 11x off of ethereum and 20 something x off of uh bitcoin right now so 25 26x off of bitcoin right now cardano has a long way to go in market cap to even catch up to bitcoin even even if that's possible so let's keep the ideology that bitcoin is the mother ethereum is the little brother and cardano is one of the stepchildren right now even we love Cardano, but it's not at its peak. It's not even close to its peak. Remember, we don't have DeFi altogether. We don't have all the smart contracts and DApp platforms available yet. The DApp platform on Cardano versus some other ecosystems are minute in scale, right? And it's dwarfed in size. So let's just give an idea. Let's say the next bull run Cardano hits 33 bucks. Let's say if the, let's let's see if that's possible. So if Cardano was to hit $33, that means that its market cap would be $1.1 trillion. Think about that. And Bitcoin right now is at $375 billion. That's almost 3x Bitcoin. Is it possible that Cardano can hit a trillion dollar market cap? Absolutely possible. 100% possible. Is it realistic? No, I don't think so in the next bull run. Maybe come close. Maybe get to where Ethereum was at, at $500 billion. Um, Let's take a look at Ethereum's prior market cap. So Ethereum's price was at $4,812. I believe it was a little higher than that, but that's pretty high to where we, to where it's at now, right? So let's look at the market cap. That was November 7th of last year. So November 7th of last year, Ethereum was at $569 billion in market cap with that price of $4,800, which is amazing. So let's, let's just look at the math real quick. So let's say we had 36, $560 billion, possibly 36 billion coins minted on Cardano. By that time, we're looking at a $15 Cardano, possible, possible $15 Cardano. Will Cardano's DApp ecosystem be that big? But when we start to count in to some of the projects and the developments that Cardano has made with major companies and, and uh, also countries, it is definitely possible that we do hit that milestone. So I would humbly say to be realistic that Cardano would not be a $33 price. It would not have a price action of 33 bucks with a trillion dollar market cap in 2024, 2025. We're looking at just under half that, but even a $10 Cardano is a major milestone. A four to $5 Cardano is huge in my opinion. So when you're thinking about price action and these people are saying price and what they think price is going to be, just remember what you want a possible price to be. It's circulating supply and it's market cap will be in relation to these two. And how can the project that you're so amped up about and everybody's talking about correlate to its market cap to the above two projects, which is Ethereum and Bitcoin. And some people are saying that Ethereum will surpass Bitcoin. It's quite possible, but the institutional investment into Bitcoin is tremendous. It is completely tremendous. It's huge. It dwarfs, obviously, Ethereum on a 2x easy scale. 
which is a lot of money. And when we start talking about the trillions of dollars, we're talking a lot, a lot of money. Where is this money coming from? It has to come from somewhere else to come into this ecosystem for that to even be feasible. Just remember that. When they start talking this price action, where's the money coming from? Just like Wendy's, where's the beef? Where's the money coming from? So just think about that. Be realistic about where you're going with the prices and how are they going to get there? What institutions are coming in? What developments are happening? How big is the ecosystem? And is it all really worth it? When we go on DeFi Llama, we look at the market share right now and Ethereum is holding that tight on total value locked in is transactions on smart contracts. And that's huge. It holds a market share of over 57% of total value locked recorded by DeFi Llama, and that is big. The next two projects after that is Binance Smart Chain and Tron, believe it or not. Then comes the runner-ups, which is Avalanche and Polygon, both at a billion dollars locked, over a billion dollars locked, almost two. And it's huge, right? And Cardano's ranked number 28, with a total value locked of 74 million. Now we all know that that's very small at this time because smart contracts haven't even begun, right? We only have a top nine recorded right now and they're still, they're nothing. And if it wasn't for the hack that happened with the Nomad Bridge, you'd probably be a lot better off right now. And Wing Riders was getting its reputation up, but it is what it is, things happen. So thank you for watching the video to the end. This ecosystem is going to be vast, uh, very huge with dwarf in comparison to where we're going to go. But when somebody's telling you about price action, remember what I just showed you. Come back and watch the video again. Share the video out to many people. If you like the content, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel to get more content. Hit the bell notification to get notified every time I make a video. And as always, Black Star, we are the light and the darkness. Peace.